Larry, what the heck is a genetic algorithm? Can you please explain it to me? Genetic algorithms are good at taking huge search spaces and navigating them, looking for optimal combinations of things, solutions you might not otherwise find in a lifetime. Wow! That sounds cool! So it is a fast optimization tactic to look for the best solution, isn't it? No, it is not looking for the best solution. It is looking for a good and robust solution rated against fitness criteria. So it avoids local optima and searches for global fitness. Unbelievable! Awesome! And genetic algorithms are search and optimization techniques based on Darwin's principle of natural selection? How does it work? First, selection is the population improvement or survival of the fittest operator. It duplicates structures with higher fitnesses and deletes structures with lower fitnesses. Second, crossover results in good components of good structures combining to yield even better structures. Crossover recombines elements of good chromosomes from different genomes. And third, mutation creates new structures that are similar to current structures. With a small, pre-specified probability, mutation randomly alters each component of each structure. Can you give me an example, please? For example, in a financial application, a genetic algorithm may discover that one variable or component, such as price to earnings ratio, is a better indicator of future return, than another variable, such as past return. In this case, the genetic algorithm would place more emphasis on the price, earnings variable and less on the past return variable. And how does the algorithm work? The genetic algorithm begins with a population of randomly generated structures, where each structure encodes a solution to the task at hand. It proceeds to evolve generations. During each generation, the genetic algorithm improves the structures in its current population by performing selection, followed by crossover, followed by mutation. What is the benefit of that? Genetic algorithms differ from traditional search and optimization methods in three significant points. First, they search parallel from a population of points. Therefore, it has the ability to avoid being trapped in local optimal solution like traditional methods. Second, genetic algorithms work on the chromosome, which is an encoded version of potential solutions parameters, rather than optimizing the parameters themselves. And third, genetic algorithms use fitness score, which is obtained from objective functions, without other artificial over-engineered black box mathematics. And how do we detect the right solution in the end? The user typically chooses the best structure of the last population as the final solution. Why do you think this is important on financial markets? Because the rules do not stay fixed, a good strategy which might work today might not work tomorrow. Come on! I know that. What is your point? The genetic algorithm follows this logic and evolves a set of given strategies against the current market condition. So the overall master genome morphes with the market. Instead of staying fixed, the genetic algorithm uses the same logic of natural law as our species used to survive in a continuously changing environment. Wow! Now I got it! That's awesome! But please tell me why you put cycles into the mix. That's my new invention here. Markets are driven by cycles, we are all aware of that. However, the cycles are not static and don't stay fixed. Therefore we need a method to follow. The dominant market vibration. Current approaches from digital signal processing only analyze the past. The genetic algorithm combined with the theory of cycles leads to a new way. Wow! Now I'm really interested. I would love to see more.